Ghost Runner is a new indie game that I had been keeping my eye on, waiting for the release date. If you aren't aware, I made a video covering the demo that they released, and now that the game is out, I have a chance to actually see what it's like. You play as the Ghost Runner, a cyborg, and you've just been thrown all the way to the bottom of the tower, the place that humanity lives in, as the outside world has been taken back by nature. You meet the architect, and he guides you through the tower leading you to lost abilities and to Mara, the one in control of the tower. The story is interesting, but not anything new. If you like the cyberpunk themes, then you will enjoy it for what it is, but there's nothing groundbreaking here. This is a specific type of action game, a one-shot game, where you can kill everything in one shot, but you also die in one shot. It's structured similar to games like Doom, where you progress through several battle arenas, until you get to the end of the level. There are four abilities that you can unlock throughout the story that help you progress in each battle. The first of which is a slash that can go through multiple enemies and you don't take damage while doing it. There are also platforming sections that feel cool, but I honestly can't speak too much on the platforming as I'm not really a fan of platforming games. And just like any other game, there is a skill spec system and collectibles, including different skins for your sword. The gameplay is pretty fun, but <clears throat> I would be lying if I didn't say this game doesn't get frustrating as shit, because it does. Yo, I'm literally, I keep dying to the same shit. I'm off the wall. And it kills me. There were moments where I just kept dying over and over and over to what feels like absolute nonsense. There are also three bosses. And these were frankly the most frustrating parts of the entire game. The first one is the least frustrating as they made it pretty clear how to beat it. But for the other two, it was just... It's like I was just dying over and over again and trying to experiment to figure it out, but... It was more annoying because, like, I die in one hit. However, once you figure out the fight, it's nothing that crazy. And can be done pretty quickly. No. I feel that if you are remotely interested in speedrunning, this actually might be a really good game for you. In fact, they even have timers built into the game itself. It's almost asking to be speedrun. Ghost Runner is a one-shot action game that, while at times is pretty fun, there will be other times where it's pretty frustrating. To usually what feels like BS. Coupled with the story that isn't anything crazy, I'm gonna give Ghost Runner a 7.5. If you like what you played in the demo, I'd say it's worth it to buy. But just be ready for the frustrating moments and also i need to point out the game took me only four hours to beat can you hear me there's no post game content which is fine i don't think it's necessarily a bad thing because it's kind of like an old school game where you just play it and it's done but it's only four hours so take that as you will Thanks for watching.